video, I want to talk about the order of operations for doing transformations. We have translations, which are shifting the graph up, down, left, or right. And then we have transformations, where we actually alter the shape of the graph or the direction it opens. And those are stretches, compressions, reflections, and, of course, translations as well. We're going to do a couple of experiments to see does order matter, and if it matters, where does it matter? Uh, so that we know what to do first when we have a problem with multiple translations and transformations in it. So we're going to start with an experiment involving horizontal and vertical translations. In all of the experiments, we're going to start with the graph of y equals x squared. That's a basic parabola, a vertex at 0, 0, with points at 1, 1, and negative 1, 1, 2, 4, and negative 2, 4. So a parabola opening up. The first thing we're going to do is move that parabola three units down. So we take each of those points and move them three units down. 0, 0 becomes 0, negative 3. 1, 1 becomes 1, negative 2. 2, 4 becomes 2, 1. And then on the left side of the x-axis, negative 1, 1 becomes negative 1, negative 2. And negative 2, 4 becomes negative 2, 1, giving us a parabola that has been moved down three units. The next thing we're going to do is move that graph one unit to the right. So we pick up each of these points and move them one unit right, which means that 2, 1 becomes 3, 1. 1, negative 2 becomes 2, negative 2. 0, negative 3 becomes 1, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2 becomes 0, negative 2. And negative 2, 1 becomes negative 1, 1. And so we have a graph that has now gone through two translations. It has gone down 3 and to the right 1. Let's just write out the equation for each of these graphs. We started with y equals x squared. Then we moved the graph 3 units down. So that would be y equals x squared and then minus 3 to the right of that. And then we move the graph one unit right. So we replace x with x minus 1 to go one unit right. So that'll be y equals left parentheses x minus 1 right parentheses squared minus 3 on the outside. Okay, now let's try doing these two translations in the opposite way. So we start with the graph of y equals x squared, and then we move the graph one unit right. So 2, 4 becomes 3, 4. 1, 1 becomes 2, 1. 0, 0 becomes 1, 0. Negative 1, 1 becomes 0, 1. And negative 2, 4 becomes negative 1, 4. There's our first parabola. Now we're going to move this one three units down. So take each point on here and move it three units down. 3, 4 becomes 3, 1. 2, 1 becomes 2, negative 2. 1, 0 becomes 1, negative 3. 0, 1 becomes 0, negative 2. And negative 1, 4 becomes negative 1, 1. And there's a graph of our new parabola. Again, let's write the equations for each of these. So starting with the graph of y equals x squared, if we move the graph one unit right, we're replacing x with x minus 1. So that would be y equals left parentheses x minus 1 right parentheses squared. Then we take that graph and move it three units down. That's subtracting 3 outside the function. So that would be y equals left parentheses x minus 1 right parentheses squared and then minus 3. Notice that these two are the same graph and they result in the same equation. So did order matter in this experiment with one horizontal translation and one vertical translation? Nope, it didn't. In fact, vertical and horizontal translations can actually be done in either order. That's of course assuming that's all there is to do. Let's move on to experiment two. Now we'll look at vertical translations and reflections together. So one transformation of the way the graph actually looks and one movement vertically of the graph. We're going to start with that graph of y equals x squared with points at negative 2, 4, 
negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4 that we can move. We start by moving the graph two units down. So negative 2, 4 becomes negative 2, 2. Negative 1, 1 becomes negative 1, negative 1. 0, 0 becomes 0, negative 2. 1, 1 becomes 1, negative 1. And 2, 4 becomes 2, 2. Now we're going to reflect this graph vertically. Let's go ahead and write the equation for that. That's y equals x squared and then minus 2 off to the side. We have a vertical change that's outside of the regular function. Now we're going to reflect the graph vertically over the x-axis. So every y value is going to become opposite. So if we have a y value at positive 2, it moves to negative 2. If we have a y value at negative 1, it moves to positive 1. So here we go. Negative 2, 2 becomes negative 2, negative 2. I'm going to just put a little x here as I do them. Negative 1, negative 1 moves to negative 1, positive 1. 0, negative 2 moves to 0, positive 2. 1, negative 1 moves to 1, comma, positive 1. And 2, comma, 2 moves to 2, comma, negative 2. So all of the y values are now opposite of what they were before. Now, how do we do this to the function? Well, we need to put a negative on the outside of the whole function. So what that would look like is y equals negative, and then we would do that negative to everything that was there before, the x squared minus 2. So when we distribute that, it's going to be y equals negative x squared plus 2. Now, if you're not so sure about that last one actually working, we can just run over to Desmos really quick and make sure. So we started with the graph of y equals x squared. The first thing we're going to do is subtract 2 from it. That gives us the shift down of 2. And the next thing we're going to do is put parentheses around it. So we'll put a left parentheses and a right parentheses around it, and we're going to negate the whole thing that should have the effect of reflecting it over the x-axis, and it does. Okay, so let's try the second half of that experiment. Let's reverse the reflection and the translation, starting with the graph of y equals x squared. We're first going to reflect the graph vertically over the x-axis. Again, I'm going to put an x over the points as I move them. So 2, 4 becomes 2, negative 4. Negative 1, 1 becomes negative 1, negative 1. 0, 0 reflected is still just 0, 0. We can't negate 0, it just stays the same. 0, 1 becomes 0, negative 1. And 2, 4 becomes 2, negative 4. So here's our first transformation. We've done a vertical reflection over the x-axis. We would write that as y equals negative and then x squared, because it's being done to the outside of the function. Now we're going to move the graph two units down. So we pick up all of these points and move the graph two units down. Again, I'm going to just x through them as I move them, just to make sure I'm catching them all. So negative 2, negative 4 would move to negative 2, negative 6, which is just falling off our graph here. And negative 1, negative 1 would move to negative 1, negative 3, 0, 0 would move 2 down to 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1 would move to 1, negative 3, and finally 2, negative 4 would move to 2, negative 6, again kind of falling off our graph here. So here is the new parabola. It's opening down with a vertex at 0, negative 2. Now to do that, I'm going to subtract 2 from the outside of the function. So this is y equals, and then the old part was negative x squared, and the new thing I'm doing is subtracting 2. So that's just y equals negative x squared minus 2. Let's compare it. Now in this case, we do not get the same graph, and we do not have the same equation either. So in this case, the order did matter. So when we mix vertical translations with other types of transformations, we are going to have to be careful about how we interpret the order. 
if we look at these two equations, we can get a little bit of a sense about what happened. They both caused the parabola to turn upside down, and you can see that in the negative x squared term in both cases. But then one goes up from that and one goes down from that. So if we were to just do the negative x squared first, then the translation of plus 2 would in fact move the graph up from the origin two units, and the minus 2 would in fact move the graph down from the origin two units. So looking at the formulas, it seems that we better apply the reflection first than the translation.